How's it going, people? I'm here to check out the ruins of an abandoned hotel. As you can see, the building is being renovated right now. There's work going on. This is a very historic building. It was built over a century ago. And right now the ruins just sitting here, the vicinity, it's been like this building has been like this for about, I think about 20 years or so. And anybody who knows that, about the history of San Antonio knows that this place was once a well-known resort for the rich and famous. This resort was well known for its hot sulfur wells on the property. And during its heyday, the rich and famous would come here to get health treatment. And I'm not exactly sure when, but sometime in the early 1900s, the place shut down and they plugged the wells. And then from there, it went to a bunch of different uses. The property became a hotel, but not as well known. And then it, I think it also used to be an apartment building and also uh, turned into a motel. And then back in the 1980s, the property burned down and then it suffered another fire again in the 1990s, and so that fire really did a number on the building. These ruins would make for a good movie, an apocalyptic style film or TV show. Something like The Walking Dead end of the world film. I'm assuming that right here, what you see is where they used to have the pools when this hotel was open. Right there it says Jen's pool. Pool. And then right here in the middle, I don't see any signs, markings that indicate what the middle pool was for. It might have been for children or families. I have visited this property before a few years ago. I got some photos of this place. But didn't get any video, and now, now I'm back here. I haven't really noticed any difference from the first time I was here.
there the fate of science says high diving strictly prohibited in the pools. When I was doing research about the history of this property, the last fire that happened here that was consumed the whole building was set apparently by some teenagers. The newspaper article I read said that there were homeless guys sleeping in the basement of this building and then one night when he was here he heard what sounded like young voices of kids walking around in the building and after a while smelled smoke and fire so he got out very quickly and and then of course the fire truck showed up but by that time there was no hope for the building and it fell to ruins as you can see right now such a shame because this was a beautiful old building And now it's going to have to go to a multi-million dollar renovation. All right, people, well, thank you for watching. The Dead Zone is out. And by the way, just to let y'all know, I have a trip to California coming up in a couple weeks. So... I'm definitely going to be posting my videos of my exploration there. Sorry for not posting for a while. I've just been really busy working a lot of overtime. And I was working two jobs for a while as well. So I'm going to start recording more and posting videos. Alright, see y'all later.